How to do object tracking in Blender. First thing first, if you're unable to retrieve the sensor width of your camera, stop this video and use another program instead. Blender does not work well if that data is unknown. Now, assuming you do know the sensor width of your camera, let's start the tutorial. Step 1. Click the plus icon to tell Blender there is an object that needs to be tracked. You can track as many objects as you like as long as each object has a minimum of 8 trackers. Step 2. Click the Add button and click on one of your tracker dots. Change the correlation to 0.5 so that Blender doesn't just randomly lose its track and start tracking. Almost any moving object that is a result of human motion are going to be a challenge for Blender to track. You are almost always going to have to track manually in almost all cases pertaining to human motion. Oh, and also, you can never have too many trackers because you simply have no idea which trackers are just going to completely fail on you. Better be safe than sorry in this case. Step 3. Enter your camera's sensor width. Check the keyframe checkbox and click Solve Object Motion. An error report of less than 1 is good, but seriously though, you really should aim for 0.5 or less. Step 4. Possibly optional step. Select the camera in your scene and apply the camera solver constraint to it. Step 5. Final step. Select the object that you want to apply the motion of your tracked object and apply an object solver constraint to it. There are two parameters. I literally have no idea how to explain this beyond what is already stated here. It's just common sense now. After you have done this, your object's position will be moved. That's fine. This is where you manually move it back into the cluster of trackers you have created. Manually rotate, position, and scale your object using the trackers in the viewport as a guide until you have achieved perfection. There you have it. A single frame of this sequence took 20 minutes to render. To render the entire 25 seconds of this sequence would have taken my laptop 8.3 days to render. Instead, what you're seeing here is rendered in real time using the amazing EV renderer. I'll be talking and teaching about the EV renderer in the time to come after other more immediate Blender topics I have planned in the coming month. So stay tuned to my channel and also please consider becoming my Patreon as I have zero Patreon at this point and would love to have at least one. Thanks. This ship that you're seeing here is from a sci-fi book I have written and published in the Apple and Android App Store titled God Guardian, The Life Review Simulation that talks about life after death in a sci-fi setting. If you're into science fiction, please consider reading my short 5 chapter book. Thanks. This is Braceo Jack and I will definitely see you in the next video with even more straight to the point and intensive Blender tutorials. See you soon and thank you all for your support.